and alleged vandalism. And destroying a piece of artwork leaves a local restaurant owner tonight heartbroken. Our Tom Kowalski joins us now. So, Tom, the owner is especially disappointed because this artwork has some sentimental value, right? That's right, Mike. Apparently his daughter made the piece, and the owner says it likely costs somewhere around $5,000. But while his daughter's sculpture may be broken, his spirit and endurance for his business is not. It's really disheartening. That's how owner Julio Reyes feels about having his daughter's glass artwork destroyed. It was placed just outside his restaurant, Julius, formerly known as the Manicorn Club. It's a chemical etch glass that was reclaimed from a demolition site and then my daughter did the design and the etching by hand even though it looks like a computer generated drawing she did it by hand reyes believes this wasn't an act of nature but rather the latest in a series of vandalism and property damage in his area i believe it is vandalism because unfortunately this is not the first time that my property has been sustained some damages there is a still in the public record at the courts. Somebody broke into the front door of the building and damaged the two doors. Uh, two weeks ago or so, another front glass door on a wall in a building north of here was also broken. But Reyes isn't giving up hope and says he has no plans to change how he presents his art in the future. I'm not afraid of anything. I will just put it over there. I'm not going to put bars. Or I'm not going to put anything. I'm expecting that people will be really more respect, respectful and will appreciate what was happening. Reyes even plans to expand his art collection. We have a few ideas. You could see other pieces around, the masks, the other glasses. We are working with a sculpture. We are going to continue building the best courtyard in the city of Erie, Pennsylvania. Now, Julie's restaurant will actually be hoping, holding an open house to view more local art on November 16th. Live from the studio, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now.